Okay, here we are yet again, messing around with the brakes, the rear brakes on this 2CV. And we have been really battling to get them adjusted up, which is why Bruce went and bought this adjustment tool, which will come in really handy in about 20 minutes, half an hour. But what we've, the problem we've been having is A, we can't, we haven't been able to adjust them very well, and we've tried everything, and we've actually, turns out we got it adjusted very well. But as we've gone on, we've noticed that the shoes, now that we've bought new shoes, we've realized that the, the brake shoes are um, not the same as the ones we bought, and they're not the same between both sides of the car. So on this side, and we haven't, we're, we're almost 100% sure that we haven't swapped shoes between sides because we've done one wheel at a time. But if you look at the brake linings on this, there's a gap there, there's a smaller gap there, and on the other, the other shoe, it's exactly the same, so they're symmetrical. But what we've noticed on the new shoes is that they're not symmetrical. The one has no gap at the top, the other one has a big gap at the top, and vice versa on the bottom. So, we have also experienced in this car trouble reversing. When, when we've adjusted the brakes up as close as we can get them, and then we reverse, or one of us reverses, the brake binds and the car tries to ride up over its wheel. And what we suspect is that because these shoes don't have this cutout here, like this one has, and because it's not a parallelogram, it's a pivot, um, if the brakes are adjusted up real close, the drum is binding on the top here and um, riding up. Which, given the damage on the yeah, that, that that could well be the problem. So that's what we're doing now. We've bought new shoes for both sides, so both sides are going to be exactly the same. We're going to put the one with the gap at the top as the rear, one with a gap at the bottom as the front. It's the other way the, around, the isn't leading. it? No. Okay. No. Fuck's sake. Really, after all this time, you haven't grasped that. I'm looking at that picture on... Yes. Go and look at the picture again. Burton's. Go and film the picture. Okay, viewers, do you think Martin's right? Thank you, Burton. Okay, I'll just explain this again for people like Bruce who seem to battle to grasp. So, so Bruce's fundamental problem is that he thinks that if this wheel on the left-hand side of the car and the car's going forward, that this wheel will turn anti-clockwise, right? So, leading shoe, trailing shoe. Bruce seems to think that when the wheel's on the other side of the car and it's going forward, that wheel's going backwards. I don't. You do. I get the logic you, of that. You do. But, but it's not going backwards. Both wheels are going in the same direction when the car's going Let forward. Let me just check my text message. So the leading shoe is the leading shoe. So we're going to make the trailing shoe when the car's going forward to have the gap at the top here. So that when it's the leading shoe when the car's going backwards, it won't bind up on this corner if the brakes are, 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 are adjusted up. And we're going to do the other side exactly the same. You understand that, right? I do. We're going to do it the same way on I the do, other I side. I do, I do, I okay. do. It's at the rear of the car. Yeah. At the yeah. rear of the car. Yeah, because when the car is going in that way, both wheels are turning effectively in the same direction, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's that's what we're going to do. And we're going to, we're going to think, think, well, we're hoping that's going to stop the binding problem. And of course, this this is going to be very useful because this is basically a see-through drum. And once we get all the shoes in there, we can we can use the snails here, the snail cams here to get everything more or less square. We can adjust the this 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 bolt here, which is as you can see, it's 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 eccentric. So that's where we adjust the bottom pivot point. That's where we adjust the the I don't know what you call it. This little bit up here, snail. Well, the snail will adjust the the angle up here this will adjust the the the, the where it pivots it's got go and um yeah we'll, we'll 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 see how we'll go because this has been a nightmare these brakes 
we've been fiddling with them a year a lot and just haven't got them right and only now have we realized that a these are exactly the same and, and i think and, those are and um, they shouldn't be and on the other side it's even worse because what we think is that these have been relined at some point by somebody who doesn't know what they're doing well yeah so these brakes look like this on the other side there's absolutely no gap here the brake the the, the the brake um friction material just goes all the way to the end of the brake shoe so and that's the other side that we've had the most trouble with in, yeah. in getting them adjusted so here we go new shoes we've got new cylinders although that doesn't look that new anymore We've got new snails. Um, all these fittings are going to be new. We've got new um, fold-over locks uh, and spring holders. And for our viewers, Mart, I and have to say, springs. we've even broken a brake lining and re well, uh, brazed it. That's true. We've, Be we've, careful when taking the cylinders out. You'll break brake linings into a nightmare. Yes. Yeah. Well, not linings, brake lines. Brake lines. Brake lines. So we had to go off and silver solder. <laughs> On the other side, we had to put a sleeve on and silver solder it. However, we could have replaced the whole line. Um, it turns out that is possible, but we certain some people have told us it's not possible, and you're better off silver soldering, silver soldering. And for your Americans, any Americans who may or may not be listening, yes, we do say soldering, not soldering. <laughs> All right, okay. Soldering. It's got an L in it. Yes. And you've know. lived in the states, so you understand that. Apparently. So here we are, we've got the, the brake adjustment tool on here. And if you see, it's um, a certain thickness out to here. And then there's a step down to here. And that's your, that's your brake drum. And this is the face you want to adjust your um, brake shoes up to. So I've, I've done this one. So slide it on. As you can see, that one's, if you look, if you look here, you can see the gaps it's not a parallelogram, so the gap, it's, you'll see as it goes out, the gap will be more uniform. So here, this side, I've got to adjust the bottom pivot point to get this shoe out a little bit. And then I'll adjust the snail cam, which is behind here with a spanner. As you can see there, when I move it, it moves to adjust it up tight. So I'm going to swing this out a bit more. And, and just watch it. I'll turn this, I think I've got to turn this anti-clockwise just to get the base out a bit more. See, there you go. It's moving out now. And now I'll adjust the 14 on the back. No, it's not, it's not, it's not square. There you go. There you go. That's pretty much square all around. I might just give that a little tweak. Yeah. Yeah, so... So, get it on. Get that on. Make sure that one's on. And back it off a bit so the tool comes off. Beautiful. And there we are. 